Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video tutorial on your current unit of abstract expressionism. Reminder, if you are still not done with the video game animations or artist statement, please do that first before this. Last time we met, it was your job to create an artwork inspired by Vasily Kadinsky. You should have used four different color theory sets, which include warm colors, cool colors, neutral colors, and con uh, complementary colors, using whatever art mediums that you had at your disposal. Today we're talking about a new artist named Joseph Albers. Joseph Albers is a painter who used various overlapping shapes, mirrored compositions, to focus on the interaction and relationships of color. What he believed is that colors appear differently depending on the unique situations that they're in, usually dictating on what colors are surrounding other colors. So here's an example of what I mean by this. Even though these two small green squares are identical in color, they appear very differently because the top square is surrounded by a lighter version of green and the bottom one is surrounded by a darker version of green. Those inside green colors appear differently because what's surrounding them, although they are the exact same hue. He also used geometric shapes. Geometric shapes all have names, can be measured, are usually sharp-edged and created by humans or people. Now he used these simple shapes so the audience would not be distracted by visually stimulating content so they could just focus on the relationships of colors. So when these shapes are basic and simple, you really focus on the colors opposed to the shapes that contain them. Finally, he used mirrored and inverted compositions. If you look at these two examples here, you'll notice that there's the exact same number of squares. Two small squares on the outside and one large one on the inside. What is different, however, are the colors that fill in these squares. So the top square is yellow in the center and the two outside squares are blue. But the bottom square is inverted or flipped. The large center square is blue and the outside squares are yellow. So although he used the exact same composition and the exact same colors, he's flipped those in both examples. So your homework today is to Google search Joseph Albers. I want you to look through different images, articles, as well as other information. You can even search images specifically to filter just the content of his paintings. Once you find one you like, take a snapshot of it and upload it to the daily participation form. So that does it for another video tutorial on abstract expressionism. As always, if you have any questions, please email me or stop in my office hours 1 to 2 p.m. every Tuesday through Friday. Work hard, have fun, and do your best quality work.